Time now for your Sunrise Smart Start. Breaking news overnight, Associated Press reporting three people were shot and two were killed during the third night of protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. According to CBS News, the shooter used an assault rifle. The protests in response to Jacob Blake, who was shot by officers Sunday. Officials say Blake is currently in critical condition. The officers involved in that shooting have been placed on leave. Four young men are recovering after they were shot yesterday in the city of Rochester. Police say it happened on Flower Street in Clifford just before 7 o'clock. All four are in their 20s. We're told three have non-life-threatening injuries. The other man required surgery. No word on their identities or suspects at this point. Well, the driver who hit two young children with her car while using her cell phone was sentenced to two and a half years. The children, Luke and Lily, were in a wagon being pulled by their father when it happened uh, when Latoya Palmo's car jumped the curb, she initially claimed. Investigators say Palmo was using her phone at the time of the crash. The victim's family says they feel she should have faced more time behind bars. Police investigating after a car crashed into a house on Arnott Boulevard in Rochester. Officers say it all started when they responded to West Main for reports of shots fired. While investigating, officers attempted to stop a car leaving the scene. The driver ended up crashing into a porch of a vacant house. We're told no one was injured. If you have any information about this, you're asked to please call 911. Fairport Police investigating multiple thefts of high-end bikes that may be sold in an underground market. The police chief believes this is due to the lack of ability to buy those high-end bikes right now, and it's prompting a market where it's profitable to steal them and sell them. Those bikes cost around mid-hundreds to a couple thousand dollars. The department looking into multiple bike theft cases in the village since the end of June. All right, Josh Nichols joining us now with a look at the forecast. A decent day on tap. A decent day on tap, uh, indeed. Off to a cool start this morning with many spots checking in with temperatures into the mid-50s. It's going to be a cooler than normal uh, Wednesday here for late August with intervals of clouds and sunshine. Should be into the upper 60s to near 70 by the water's edge of Lake Ontario. Could be close to 80 uh, south of the thruway into the Genesee Valley into the uh, low 70s here in Rochester. You can see we've got that uh, mainly clear sky to enjoy here this morning. Good supply of sunshine uh, to at least start the day, but then it'll start to cloud up a little bit uh, as we go into the afternoon. The reason being there's a warm front here back to our west. You can see scattered showers and thundery downpours making their way there through Michigan and Wisconsin. And that warm front has its sights set on western New York and means Thunderstorms for our neck of the woods later tonight. Think along the lines of the boomers that came on through that may have woke you up the other night. And then another threat could exist going into tomorrow afternoon. But again, for the day today, dry, fairly cool, with highs in the low 70s and times of clouds and sun. All right, we'll be ready for those storms tonight. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now.